began with identities so sacred that U.S. history books could only go 15 pages in depth. Mm -hmm. So our story begins when they shackled us to rotted floorboards and soiled bodies, breathing prayers and multiple native tongues into each other's skin, asking our gods to save us. And on we sailed to the land of a pale man that called us nigger so much it became lodged in the bristles of our tongues. And even when we made it off the fields and into the spotlight of the Harlem Renaissance, they found a new way to label us. Because they couldn't fathom a nigger just being talented. We had to be coons. And so we consumed to the attitudes of stereotypes and white gloves and fire engine red stained lips. But they started to trip because niggas became too popular. So pop culture copied us with the same tools they bamboozled us with. Now they can't stop. And they won't stop until they're back on the top. Now they rock gold grills and grill their pigments to a tent with intent to mix well with their red candy painted lips. They whip their stringy hairs back and forth. White boys snip and fade and taper their manes. White girls clip and strip and twerk and everyone yells, work, white girl, work. Bend it over to the front and touch your toes. Show the crowd your best Sarah Bartman pose. <laughs> they become the coons that they created. So why don't you dance, coon? Sing, coon. Still, coon, shuck, coon, job, coon, speak, coon. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I still be your nigga, boss. I sing, I shuck, boss. See, the only way they wanted to see a coon shine is when he checked his reflection in their shoes. Or when Mandy's lips swelled in large proportion, distorted and shined. Silver, her obese figure, stuffed with an uncontrollable love for servitude, her head wrap, drenched in sweat and cooking oil, her plaid apron. Stained and nasty semen, the mistress's tears and little nigger Jim's watermelon coated fingertips. At least in the 20s, she got paid to step and fetch it on screen and seen. Man Tan's eyes retreat back into their sockets. But Tom's don't stop dancing because the camera is off. He can't wipe off his black face, black faces, savagely raping white women to birth the nation with blood hips, yellow bone Jezebel shaking the assets. Luring white men in from their homes and jobs while jobless Sambo laying other masters' favorite hanging tree eating the strange fruits of America. You see, they don't string up coons in America no more because all of the faces are turning white. Mm. <laughs>